Hi, it's Natalie Lowell here, and today I want to talk to you about the three things that are preventing you from manifesting perfect health and their solutions. And surprisingly, you'll find that they all start within your mind. Now, best-selling author David Kosheri famously said, the mind is a powerful force. It can enslave us or empower us. It can plunge us into the depths of misery or take us to the heights of ecstasy. Now, true to this compelling statement, the mind is an incredible tool that humans possess. It can be used to help you attain success, good health and happiness, and it can also lead you to feelings of failure and hopelessness and even illness. So while good mental health is linked with experiencing positive emotional and physical well-being, poor mental health can contribute to lack of sleep, energy depletion, disease, depression, and negative health implications. So this is why it's so important and imperative to keep your mind and body in optimal shape by creating habits that promote your health. So doing things like exercising at least three times a week. And when, we, when we're exercising, do something that you love to do. I mean, if you're having to drag your butt to the gym and you don't really want to do that, not that we can do that at the moment, um, but choose something that you'd love to do. You know, maybe you want to get yourself one of those little rebounders. Maybe you want to get yourself a bike. Maybe you want to just go and walk out in the sunshine. Whatever it is, try and do something at least three times a week that's going to help to raise your heart rate, get you sweating a little bit, get you breathing, that's going to get, you know, the blood circulating through your body. You want to be eating nutritious and nourishing food. I mean, what a fantastic time now that we've got the time to do so, to start investigating some great, you know, new eating styles, some new recipes, um, start to experiment with some really, you know, nutritious food and see what you come up with. You want to be taking your vitamins and supplements. Very important. Now, I know that, you know, we, the food, the quality of the food that we get these days, unless you're eating, you know, organic all of the time, is maybe not what it used to be. Now, I totally believe and very highly advocate that we take some kind of vitamins and supplements, definitely um, a, a multivitamin, uh, definitely omegas for our brains. Um, I would definitely get start with those and then, you know, look at and take some uh, advice and, and do some research and see what other vitamins would be really good for you as well. You know, you want to make sure that you get a checkup at least once a year. Especially as we start to get older, you know, little bits and pieces can start to wear and tear. Um, but we want to make sure that we're on top of that so that we're getting a yearly checkup. Uh, practicing mindfulness and meditation. I mean, how important is that? And if you haven't started a, a, a meditation practice, now is the best time to do it. So you get the drift of all the kind of things that we can do. But in order to create and stick to these healthy habits, you undoubtedly need to have a healthy mindset. Because our mind, um, it, and willpower alone won't get us to do all these things. We have to make sure that our mind is in alignment with everything that we want to create as well. So whether you're running from saber-toothed tigers or, or running after impossible deadlines, life on planet Earth has always presented stress-inducing challenges for your mind to navigate, which in turn can have a negative effect on your health. But modern life, although less likely to put you in the path of deadly four-legged predators, has its own sneaky ways of harming you, often through elements that, in theory, should make your life easier, not harder. Like, for instance, um, fast-paced living. Now, the problem with this is that from high-powered smartphones to demanding careers and modern life, it all moves at breakneck speed, and we always forget to breathe. We know that when we get a little stressed, I don't, I'm, take notice of this next time, when you get a little bit stressed, we always tend to hold our breath. You know, and actually I have a really good breathing exercise that's going to help you bring more tranquility and peace and it's completely free. So just click on the link in the description below to, to get access to that. Now the unwanted side effects, well, you get skyrocketing stress levels, you get degraded attention spans, you get lack of sleep, and severe information overload, and studies suggest that the technological multitasking that most of us engage in actually triggers the stress hormone cortisol and damages our memory more than marijuana does. Now, the solution to all of this is to limit your exposure to technology and get yourself organized. And these things, in my experience, are the best ways to reclaim your mind and your health from the pressure of modern life. 
So effective strategies to do this could include keeping your smartphone out of the bedroom, you know, taking no, do a no internet weekend, you know, have a, a, a digital detox, uh, have a, a daily to-do list and set aside some quiet me time for meditation and relaxation does not include technology. Okay, number two, the challenge is junk food. Now, the problem is that the root cause of our modern dilemma with food is a corporate agenda not to nourish us, but to force feed us with hazardous additives, chemicals, and flavor enhancers that get us addicted to the fake food in the same way that we get addicted to drugs. Now, the documented side effects of this nefarious scheme include brain shrinkage, depression, high blood pressure, weight gain, and a wide spectrum of illnesses. Now, the solution to this is that I can tell you to start eating healthy, but everyone already knows that, right? Now, I found that one of the most common reasons that people don't stick to a healthy diet is lack of preparation. You get busy, you get stressed, and for the sake of convenience and comfort, you just roll up to the drive-thru. But instead, write down what you're going to eat each day of the week and buy all of your healthy food in advance. Now, what I do is I actually um, go to the grocery store and then I do a big cook up on a Sunday but I, and I cook enough meals, I put them into, you know, uh, serving sizes and I put them in the freezer or I keep them in the fridge so I know that when I want to go to the fridge and I want to eat something, I just have to open the fridge and I have a choice of healthy options that are easy to heat up and prepare. Now, also personal growth blogger James Clear recommends a five-ingredient rule when it comes to buying foods at the, at the grocery store. Now, if a food item has over five ingredients in it, then toss it. <laughs> now, I also have a girlfriend of mine who suggests that we shop on the outside of a grocery store because that's where the meat and the uh, fruit and vegetables and all the whole foods are. Now, number three is to look at your medications and supplements. Now, the problem with this is that from aspirin to synthetic vitamins and sleeping pills, Big Pharma wants you to believe that there's a bottled solution to every problem. And, you know, the marketing works. I mean, Americans spend about $21 billion a year on vitamins and $300 billion on painkillers. Now, unfortunately, many widely used medications and supplements are either ineffective at best or at worst, they come with a host of dangerous side effects that cause chemical imbalances. They cause addictions and they cause damage in your brain and your body. You know, each year, 4.5 million Americans are rushed to the emergency room due to drug related side effects. Now, the solution to this is that education is key, both on the effectiveness and the side effects of any medication or supplements that you put into your body. And look at all the natural alternatives that may be available for you. You know, have a chiropractic treatment. Um, you know, do meditation for anxiety. You know, do good old-fashioned diet and lifestyle changes for weight loss and diabetes. Now, of course, certain types of medication and supplements are, in fact, irreplaceable. So please don't make any changes until you've consulted your doctor and done your research. You know, don't take my word for it. Make sure you consult your doctor first if you are already on some medication. Just remember to stay patient and consistent and committed to your health. And before you know it, you'll be healing yourself with the sheer power of your mind. Now, before I go, I would love to hear from you. So please comment below on any tips that you have that can really help our community manifest good health during these challenging times. And don't forget to subscribe to the My Movies YouTube channel for more videos on personal growth and the law of attraction. Again, my name is Natalie Ledbull. Thank you for watching and bye for now.